What's going on you guys? It is your boy, John was all here. And today, I'm going to react to now. This is a different video. It is by Star Wars Coffee. So I'm going to take a look at this. So if you want to see the video, it will be in the link description down below. So let's take a look at this, shall we? And let go. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, where in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how Palpatine's entrance and the rise of Skywalker could have made a lot more sense and really fit the film a lot better. That's today here in Star Wars Coffee. Okay. Greetings, Exalted Ones. Greetings to all you Jedi, Padawans, and younglings out there. This is Star Wars Coffee, covering everything you need to know about the latest developments, news, and leaks in Star Wars, and as always, okay. giving you my analysis. The Rise of Skywalker sure was an interesting film with the bringing back of Palpatine. This likely of course, I was happy for that, but... Who have only seen Star Wars maybe a handful of times and went to see the final film in the Skywalker The way saga, he looked, he looked awful. So awful. Palpatine survived being thrown into the Death Star. Why he can't look like, like the Return of the Jedi. Followed by the entire place exploding. In Return of the Jedi, we didn't get a decent answer until the novelization mm -hmm. of the movie landed in March. Of How he survived. Which revealed that the... How he survived from Return of the Jedi. his consciousness across the galaxy into a clone he prepared as a backup plan. So what this is, is talking about the Rise of Skywalker's novelization written by Ray Carson. So in the novelization, we actually get some in-depth answer. Well, not really in-depth answer, but we get more of an answer than we got in the film as to how Palpatine was able to thrust his consciousness and still, in a sense, survive. And the novelization... There is no explaining how he survived. ...explanation about Darth Sidious' survival. When Rey is feigning obedience to her evil grandfather during the Sith ritual at the story's climax when all of the Sith loyalists have risen and everything like that, she's really planning on turning against him, which we as an audience already knew. She received visions of Palpatine's past, and here is where the novelization reveals exactly how Palpatine was able to escape his certain doom back in episode 6. And you can see that novelization in the, in the book, but I'm going to read it to you here. So it says, quote, Plagueis had not acted fast enough in his own moment of death, but Sidious, sensing the flickering light in his apprentice, this would be Darth Vader, had been ready for years. So the falling, dying Emperor called on all the dark power of the Force to thrust his consciousness far, far away to a secret place he had been preparing. His body was dead, an empty vessel long before it found the bottom of the shaft that that he looked awful jolted that looks so awful in a new body a painful one a temporary one so in the novelization we get this explanation however this would have been a lot more beneficial to us if we had actually gotten this type of flashback in the rise of skywalker mm -hmm. all they had to do was throw this little like um back and forth between that scene where Palpatine's falling and Rey's current facial expressions mm -hmm. to really deliver that point of cross mm -hmm. and have like Rey talk about that. So we now have a new piece of concept art that hints at an earlier draft of the script that might have explained all of this on screen. So Star Wars artist Adam Brockbank has posted a picture described as showing the following, quote, Kylo at the threshold of the cloning laboratory. We got a glimpse of a gallery of mm. these Sith loyalists and failed snow clones in the movie, but the chamber looked a far cry from the pristine and sterile environment that you see in this image here. So Palpatine dismissively regarded Snoke as a mere puppet, which makes sense given they just had Kylo walk by the Snoke clones. And it makes sense that he treat his own cloning process with a bit more rigor. In addition, the hunched over attendants, mm. which again are Sith loyalists, look impressively creepy, being vaguely reminiscent they look creepy. of many Darth Vader's given their masks and all of that. They look creepy. But even with all of the care in the world, Palpatine's clone body was decaying rapidly. That could this have happened on the film. To funnel his spirit into his granddaughter's body and rule the galaxy as a dark empress. So as we saw, through Rey channeled the power of all the Jedi, finally blew Palpatine to smithereens. Or at least we assume he was killed. I mean, literally at this point, this isn't a knock on anything, I'm just saying. 
if they've done it once, they're able to do it again. Palpatine in the Legends was able to come back three separate times, I believe. So who's to say that he doesn't have another secret clone facility tucked away in another distant spooky planet when he realized right before he blew up that he was able to go there? Or even to this cloning facility that is described in this image here. And I say all of that to say that it would have made a lot more sense to general audiences and all of us diehards who aren't trying to piece this together. Because if this was made clear, I wouldn't even have to be making this video. But they, they could have thrown a scene in the first act when Kylo first arrives and encounters Palpatine about him before going through the the uh, meeting Palpatine after that he could have ended up going to this cloning facility when the novelization tells us that he noticed some of these cloning things from when he studied the Clone Wars. So they mention all of that in the novelization but had they done all of this in the actual film and clearly this was an early draft so there were still some loose ends in the final draft of the film when JJ was clearly cutting things down. Whether this scene was actually filmed or not, it definitely should have been. Seeing Adam Driver's Kylo Ren go to a cloning facility to really understand how Palpatine was able to sustain his life after Vader overthrew him mm -hmm. and saved Luke would have mm -hmm. made the entire film a lot better rather than having all of us try and piece together how Palpatine survived. Because what this image really does is show that... The novelization's retcon may not have been a retcon after all, but could have been based on an earlier version of the film that we didn't end up seeing. So in a sense, it's a retcon now based on the actual film we got, but had this concept art been included in an actual scene that they shot, it would have made everything make a lot more sense, including its uh, companion of the novelization. So I really hope this was shot, and I hope at some point we get a more concise edit of this film, but of course, being Disney and being Star Wars, my hopes on that are greatly diminished. But we will see in future releases, because we know that Disney did not release any deleted scenes from The Rise of Skywalker, no. and we know there are at least a few, one of them definitely being on Mustafar, and maybe this is where that took place. However, we will have to wait years, perhaps, to find out. But let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. Yeah, I agree because I would like to see some deleting scenes of The Rise of Skywalker to see if it's getting very interested and that could have been part of the, the movie. But of course, you know, that movie was ruined and, you know, when I saw it in the theater, I thought it was going to be great, but it wasn't. It wasn't. I don't know why they bring the Emperor back. And that would be cool what this person says that if Kyle Gold flashed back to see his grandfather save his own son, Luke, when he grabbed the Emperor and throw him into the the thing, and he should know that, that the Emperor was a very, very bad Emperor. But, of course, that there's no explain about how Kylo, you know, turned into the dark side because we said on the the Last Jedi, but it should be a, you know, it should be more, more explained stories of why Ben joined the dark side, and there's no story about it. Of course, Luke just tell like a little story. That's it, and you know, of course, that thanks to uh, Ryan Johnson, uh, you know, come up with the worst story of the the Last Jedi, people really hated it. When the movie was finished, no applause, like the end of the movie, it was complete silent. Nobody did like it at all. I was very disappointed at that movie too. I was pissed off, it was too long, and Luke will never give up. Why making Luke give up, okay? He wants to become a Jedi Master just like his father. So, what he's trying to do, change his mind? Okay, he changed his mind and he blamed himself that his nephew turned into the dark side. Is that's why he blamed himself and that's why he's been hiding in this mountain for the past year, whatever. See, that's why I'm pissed off of, you know, these films, folks, because, because we, of course, I'm a Star Wars fan. I really am. I'm a Star Wars fan because we want like a cool stories that we could understand and a great actions that we all could love but some of them were good and some of them were bad okay the only two that problem with me 
is The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. I heard that the, the Rise of Skywalker book was better than the film. I don't know because I don't read, okay? I don't like to read books. So I heard that they said that the book is better than the movie. Okay, there's some things that they never put in the, in the big screen. So they said that the book is much better than the film. But I don't know, folks. I really don't know because I'm really disappointed of the, the Rise of Skywalker and of course the, the Last Jedi. Of course that the Emperor should have died on Return of the Jedi. That's it. No more Emperor. He's dead. Okay, so now what Disney's trying to say that Anakin is not the hero, he's not the chosen one. So why bring the Emperor back? And there's no explain, no explain of how the Emperor survive. Of course, like this person said, but still don't understand of how the Emperor survive from Return of the Jedi. Could be is the different emperor probably there's a Darth Sidious or diff or a lot of Darth Sidious we don't know we absolutely don't know okay is there more Sith that's why like uh, the Rise of Skywalker when the Emperor talking to Rey and then you see all the sent all the sent audience so what's that supposed to be that supposed to be all Emperor Palpatine we don't know we absolutely don't know I just said that it was very disappointed and it's true. I would like to see when they're going to announce, put the deleting scenes of the Rise of Skywalker. Okay, Disney has it or JJ, you know, they should put like a deleting scene to see if we like it. You know, it would be cool like to see for ourselves because we were upset and very disappointed at the movie, you know. I'm still a big fan of Star Wars, so we gotta see in the future if they're gonna now they're gonna do episode 10, 11, and 12. But different directors. Different directors, please. <laughs> well, that's all I wanna say in this video. So that's all my reaction for today. So like, subscribe, thank you so much. And please follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. It would be in the link description down below. So thank you so much and take care, y'all. Have a blessed night and be safe. 30,000 subscribers. Peace.